Hi guys, Rebecca Creates here. This VR is for Emily, who is uh, Jersey Sea Girl E here on YouTube and on Instagram. She's having a um, Let's Be Friends Julie Nutting Tag Challenge, and the challenge is to create a Julie Nutting Tag no bigger than 8 by 5 and um, it's open until October 12th. There's going to be, I believe it's a PayPal prize, but she has some goodies too, so I don't know if it's one or the other. Um, but I'm going to link her challenge down below so you guys can go check it out. So she had me at Julie Nutting. You guys who follow me know that I love Julie Nutting stamps. Like, I love Julie Nutting stamps. So I thought this would be a really fun opportunity to try doing a Halloween-themed Julie Nutting uh, tag. And I did use Frank Garcia's 31, which I've been playing with... Um, and making some embellishments and stuff and I used Clarissa this is my favorite right now my favorite stamp that it's the big Julie Nutting face um, and then I did use this this is a really old 2014 set like from series one um, and it's this witch hat stamp you can tell how yellow it is it's pretty old so okay so I used uh, black cardstock as a base I matted it with one of the patterned papers that had like the little spells and cauldrons and things um here's clarissa i cut her out from the julie nutting um skin tone paper pad in the palest color and then i distressed it in green just to try to give her that like witchy vibe and then i did what i always do i layered her hair in like crazy <laughs> colors i distressed it all and then i put the little hat like tucked on top of her her puffy hair here um and then to embellish her hair uh i've done her before where i put one of my resin bows in her hair this time i did my little sequin flowers i've been obsessed with making these they, they're really quick to make but they're just so fun um using sequins and seed beads so these are three of the colors i made to coordinate with like the frank garcia set um so I put two little flowers in her hair. There's some little jemmies. Um, what else? Then there's just some layering. Um, this is that that uh, Joanne's mesh that Craft Purge uh, showed in a haul, and then like everybody was buying it. These are some cut aparts. I just distressed them and tucked them in. This is a Dollar Tree. Um, this is um, these spider rings that come from like the party favor section and then what i do is cut the back off but first i hold it by the the ring piece and i use this um deco color marker i have these in silver gold bronze everything and then i just kind of distress the, the actual spider then i cut once it dries i cut the little ring part off with scissors it cuts really easily right so that it has this like distressed look i love how that looks um this is one of my holographic resin bows. You can't tell with my lighting, but this is like a black uh, a holographic bow. What else? There's just some holographic trim down here in, in like that silvery holographic. Some cut aparts popped up on foam tape and jemmies. And then I put some of that Dollar Tree trim. I have to ask her when I email her, does she want our information on the back? Or does she want this to be a to and from? I have a to from stamp that I usually stamp on the back of tags. But what I did, I just didn't put it on yet. I cut one of the, um, from that pad, one of the little journaling cards. So, and then I cut some of the trim from the top pages that are like the excess pieces. And I thought I would just tape these down like washi tape and just kind of like make them like a little, I don't know, wonky um, with my information if, if she wants our information on the back of the tag. So that's how it looks. Let me know what you guys think. You guys go over and check out her challenge. Um, if you don't have time to join her challenge or you're not interested in making a Julie Nutting tag or a girl stamped image or image uh, tag for her challenge, that's fine as well. Go over and show her some crafty support. Um, let her know that I sent you. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of my tag. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.